Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this new tutorial today. We are learning how to use Node Package Manager and how to install packages with it. So we're going to install Express, which is a small minimalist web framework. Uh, so let's start with the basic basics. I'm inside of my uh, project folder and I make a new directory with mk here and I call it test and as you see this command just creates a new directory inside of my project folder so I'm navigating into test and I create and I initialize a node package manager inside of my project with npm in it so npm uh, asks you uh, some stuff about your project and you can uh, fill it now fill it out now or later on so it asks you for the name test for the version for the description for the entry point which is normally a index.js for a node package if you want to create your own uh, test commands the git repository some keywords for your project, who is the author, the license, and then it asks if everything is okay. And after this, you see that uh, npm is initializing itself with a package.json. And if we're opening this, uh, we see that uh, it has the name, the version, the description, the main, the entry point, the scripts, the author and the license, and there is nothing else inside of this package JSON. So if we want to use uh, uh, some uh, node package packages for our project now, we can install them with npm install and the name of the package, which is express. So I'm going to install it without the dash dash save or dash s flag and we will see what happens so let's install express and now it's finished and you see that we get a new uh, folder and that it's called node modules and it installs express with all its dependencies so uh, what happens in the package.json as you see the package.json looks the same as before because we did not save it inside of the package.json so if we want to use this uh, project uh, later on uh, somewhere else we need to save it inside of the package.json so let's uninstall this package uninstall express and now uh, Express is unbuilt. And when we take a look inside, there is no no node modules folder anymore. So let's install Express with dash dash save or dash s. And it's installing Express. And as you see, uh, if we take a look at our uh, package.json, it installs, uh, it created the dependencies with Express in it and the version of Express. So that's great. So if we uh, have a project uh, and transfer it uh, to somewhere else, uh, the node modules folder is normally not there because uh, it's in a git ignore file or somewhere else. So we say uh, npm uninstall Express and you see there is no uh, node modules folder anymore but everything that's inside of the dependencies will be installed automatically if there is a package.json in our folder and we're inside of test and inside of test we have a package.json and if we hit npm install it will automatically install every dependency so we're putting one more dependency inside of it. I 
say bootstrap and if we don't know the latest version or we want to uh, get automatically the latest version then we can uh, use a star this is uh, probably not recommended for uh, your production server because uh, probably Probably the newest version of some dependency is not working with your application, but this uh, will work and I show it to you Right now we have no node modules here, but if we run npm install it will automatically install Express and bootstrap So if we take a look it didn't install bootstrap That's because we didn't saved it So let's save it I do npm npm uninstall express so it's unpilled so we don't have a, a, a node modules folder anymore but if I hit npm install it will install uh, express and bootstrap as you see we have bootstrap and express installed with our node uh, with our npm dependencies so that's everything you need to know uh, maybe one last thing if you want to uh, uninstall a dependency also from the dependencies you simply say npn uninstall bootstrap for example and dash s and then it will automatically remove the dependency from your package.json so that's it for this video. If you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see us in the next video. Bye!